She's around, nothing else matters. We'll fight on someone else. Well, wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you. Wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you, girl. Wanna love you. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday I started this week's vlog. I didn't film on Sunday because I just needed like a filming break almost. Um, I just kind of chilled at the house. I was being really lazy and just, you know, just chilling. And also my period started on Sunday. Was it Sunday or Monday? I think it was Sunday. Anyways, I've just pretty much been out of commission. It was Monday. It was Monday. Okay, thanks for knowing. Um, so Monday morning, my cycle started. No, because I've been... Or maybe it was Monday. So it is Tuesday morning. It's about 10.30. Um, we've been up for about an hour now, I would say. And today we're going to do wash day. Nova's wash her hair because school opens back up tomorrow. So they were what? closed... 
they were closed today and yesterday so Aww. um we're gonna wash our hair today so she can go to school looking fresh tomorrow um you don't want to go back to school why not just one day Anywho, I just wanted to come on and properly start the vlog because yesterday was just mostly all by. So we did the pool yesterday, which was nice. Um, got a little bit of work done. Cleaned my house. Like, it was just really nice to wake up this morning to a fresh smelling, clean house. It was a full moon yesterday, so you'll know the full moon energy is still radiating throughout today and probably tomorrow as well. So, yeah, we're just... The full moon is the big one where it's like you can see the entire full moon. The new moon is where it looks like there's no moon in the sky at all. Um, today, between today and tomorrow, my goals are to I have two boxes that need to be unpacked, okay? And the boxes have books in them, and I bought a bookshelf, so. I'm gonna see how far I can get with that. I really just wanna get this box out of my living area. <laughs> and then I also wanna finally unbox my towel warmer. Chow, it's just in the box in my bathroom. And once I get those two boxes unpacked, I will have officially be fully unpacked. Like that's it, those are the last two things that need to be out of boxes. So, and they've been in the same spot, like literally, I haven't had to unpack boxes since pretty much the first week that I moved in here and we're already almost two months two months in we're already it'll be two months like next week today we're gonna go to my mom's house too like I'm gonna wash Nova's hair we're gonna chill I'm gonna try to get some work done before then but around three or four we're gonna go to my mom's house and just cook on the grill and just chill out they just came back from vacation my mom my sister nephew brother-in-law they just came back from, boston boy. yes boston boy just came back from vacation so we're gonna go over there and see them and just kind of like hang out and stuff so that is the plan for the day i hope you guys are loving these weekly vlogs this is officially weekly vlog number three i've really been enjoying filming these weekly vlogs just really getting creative and making them not all the same you know what i'm saying and like starting the vlogs differently and just i don't know it's just fun it's a nice little way to just give you guys that organic content on the sundays and then like those nice evergreen content on wednesdays um that's just been my vibe and i think that it's been working out really well so anyways girl what are you doing <laughs> silly okay tell them we'll see them later you can get in the camera even though your hair looks crazy say i'll see you guys after my hair is done after my hair going. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Bye bye. No, just what are you doing? Bonnie purses her lips the way she does before she yells at her kids. And I know I'm in for it. So listen. Alright, so dressed and ready to go. I need to put something on my lips because 
getting dry. This is what I have on, my favorite summer pants. I'm pretty sure this top is from H&M, so. I'm actually a little bit behind schedule. Um, because I should already been there, but I'm about to wake Nova up. It took me a little longer to do her hair because it was so tangled. It is my fault because um, I we've been in the pool and we've just been like like back and forth pool days and just like knowing I need to wash her hair and then took it out, let her wear it out. And you know, when, when once you let the curls out, like Nova's hair, uh, I don't really let Nova's hair stay out curly because it just gets tangled up so easily now if she could handle the comb through you know it wouldn't be no problem you could wear your hair out but that would make hair being an everyday thing that's why I always do Nova's hair and like little styles how I do like braids or whatever you know it's just easier to manage without like damaging her hair if anything the protective styles are the reason why her hair is so long but she'd be wanting to wear it out curly and I'll do sometimes I'll let her wear it out like if it's like an event or something or a day that we're like you know oh she wants to go to church and she wants to wear her hair out curly like that's fine but as the weekly hairstyle no ma'am we need to be able to do your hair once a week maybe a touch up in the middle of the week you know what I'm saying so anyways moms if you know you know but let me wake her up because I'm actually let me pack up my work stuff because I'm gonna bring my laptop the day I cannot believe it's already 345 the day's definitely gotten away a little bit because how oh the bag is out there because the way like how it's already 345 is crazy like I was supposed to use the majority of this day to edit and stuff but I don't know what the heck was I doing earlier that took me so long to like get myself together I really don't know but let me pack up my I'm gonna pack up my laptop and all the other things that I need to like get some work done and then we're gonna wake the child up and then we're gonna get up out of here so I'll see y'all at my mama house Always a reason to leave and go to the store. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk. I feel high as hell. It's like your car does this. Are you, are you gonna look into how you can get 40% off? Yes. We can look that shit up right now. <laughs> Not right now, I mean, like right now at Nanny's. <laughs> Jesse's girl. Oh, what about a Cinnamon? Cinnamon. People like the Cinnamon stuff. They can be really nice and new Cinnamon. Yo, it's peony season. They're beautiful. Oh my god. I'm not a relief mom, so I'm not a game designer. Oh my god. I almost want to get a bouquet. Oh my god. Peony season. Hey, Nia. Nia's favorite flowers are peonies. This one here, I might as well get a donut. Uh -huh. <laughs> or you want those down there? I want the different ones. ones. The good ones. Okay. okay. Me too. Yeah. Definitely too. One thing I learned about ladies is like the time in the jungle.
morning. Yesterday was Tulip Tuesday, so let's cut these and set them out. get my nails done they open at 10 so I'm gonna take some iced coffee with me I want to make sure I want to bring some iced coffee with me you know your girl trying to save her money we're trying to buy a car by the end of the year and do y'all know how much money adds up from purchasing coffee right now I have pretty much limited myself to only really buying coffee um gonna be fancy and we're gonna use the circle cubes or whatever but only buying coffee can you see that only buying coffee when I'm at work because work is a little more you know like detrimental like I need the caffeine okay smooth unsweetened black so you know 
We're here for the full coffee consumption. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no additives. And then still going strong with the Sewn Organic Oat Creamer. This is the sweet and creamy one. They have a salted caramel one or a vanilla one as well. This creamer is really good. Um, it's like gives just the right amount of sweetness if you don't really need your coffee too, too sweet. But you still want to like use a creamer and add flavor. But anyways, it's just the perfect balance. It's also really good when you steam it. If you have like an espresso machine at your house, an espresso machine or something, it's really good that way too. Once I started using that creamer, honestly, I never went back. I have been editing a little bit. I meditated. I had my tea. It's just been a good morning. It's a Wednesday, by the way. It is the next day, obviously. Um, but today is going to be a pretty, like, chill day. We're going to be in the house other than going to get our nails done. I need to also like delete my phone my old phone because i got a new phone maybe like three weeks ago and i still haven't returned my other one so i need to package that up i mean i have everything i need to send it out i just haven't done it yet so i need to wipe that phone and then drop it off at ups and then i also need to finish signing nova up for freaking public school oh my god this is the one task I've been procrastinating, and I know I should not be procrastinating this task, I know. But like my brain is trying to catch up with the fact that Nova will be in kindergarten. Nova will be like riding a bus. Am I gonna let her ride the bus? Oh my God, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel so stressed about it. I think that's why my anxiety has been up lately because the months are just flying. I cannot believe it's already July and it's just like, Dog. Okay, first sip. Mmm, magnificent. And you saved me some money. Okay, I, I be feeling so good about myself when I bring my own like iced coffee on the go. Anyways. Um but yeah, so finish doing um signing her up for school and signing her up for kindergarten camp. So it's like a camp they do like the week before school and they do like half a day and they just like get acquainted and get adjusted. I really want her to do that. Even if it's just for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because um, like not everybody has to do, like kindergarten camp isn't mandatory I believe, um, but I want her to do at least the first three days because I know Wednesday night slash Thursday morning we'll be going on a beach vacation because no one has been asking to go to the beach y'all so we're gonna take her to the beach and this is gonna be like her little before big girl school kind of trip you know what I'm saying she's been wanting to go somewhere for a while so we're like okay me and her dad we're gonna plan something um so we picked a little beach vacay to go before she starts school so so yeah, she's gonna be really excited about that. She doesn't really fully know the details, but anyway, so yeah, I need to handle that business and stop procrastinating it and just accept the fact she's going to kindergarten. <laughs> and then today's Wednesday, I was supposed to upload for myself, but I'm a little behind on uploads. These past couple of days have just been like really busy slash lazy days, especially with like my period starting and stuff like that. It's just been I've been a little off, so I have already accepted the fact like if I don't post today okay it's not the end of the world maybe I'll just throw it up tomorrow <laughs> um but I need to get a dent in my weekly my first I still haven't I'm filming the third weekly vlog I still haven't even posted the first weekly vlog yet so we already three weeks behind y'all already seeing things like I don't really care about the time frame because I feel like the content is still like, I don't need to post that week or, you know, that's kind of weird too. But, um, yeah, so, so yeah. And then after I do that, I also need to, I also need to cook and pack for work because I leave for a three day trip tomorrow. Um, what's my Thursday? Yeah. I leave tomorrow for a three day trip. So it's a long Toronto layover, but it's only 16 hours and we get in at like midnight. 
So that layover will probably be scheduled for like sleeping and editing and gym. <laughs> like just divvy up my time, two hours here, whatever, whatever. Um, because 16 hours seems long and it's considered a long layover, but let's be real, it's not it's, it's it's enough time but it's not like 24 hours like i've i've been being spoiled with all these 24 hour layovers but i've been swapping out of those trips because i've been needing to move stuff around those trips aren't really worth much already so it's like sometimes if i if i don't work i'd rather hop on like a three-day trip rather than work like the you know the trips i'm usually scheduled if I know I need to get that money so <laughs> I love being able to control just like how much I can make at work um I think that's the cool thing about like my career because or like just the way that like our pay cycle is I guess or whatever um just like based on like what my schedule says right now I'll know I can look up and see like exactly how much I'll be making in that specific check so I feel like that gives me a lot of control to just like you know see what I need to work how much do I like for a while in this new year um because every year you know you get a raise um but thank god like what a blessing but at this new year mark I started really tracking how much I was making and stuff and this is for like other flight attendants because I know a lot of y'all follow me and people who want to become vaginists because like you know you have the ability to move your schedule around now it's not as easy as it sounds like the way i'm saying it is like oh yeah just you don't need to work that day okay moving no it's not easy like you have to worry about the trip balancer and it's just a lot of things that go into it but um but you know as much as you can you can see like what type of trips you can work for so the way that i did my trips i get these trips that are like one leg over to the west coast 24 hour layover one leg back and those are like really nice to work because they help me with my work-life balance they're not so strenuous on like your body and just everything being away for a long time um but but you know like i said they weren't worth much so anyways long story short I've been, able, I've been able to swap on to certain trips and work. I've been working three days more often now, which is like, dun, 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 because, you know, when you don't work three days for a while, you have to like really kind of get used to it again. But I don't even remember why I brought any of that up, but key points for that conversation. Love being a flight attendant. You can really control when you work and how much you're making every, every two weeks. <laughs> also... Also, we got a lot to do today, so let's just go get it done. I've had a really good productive morning, and my one affirmation I've been saying to myself frequently is I have enough time in the day to do everything that I need to do or to get done in the, everything that I need to get done. Whether that's everything on my to-do list or only three things on the to-do list, I know and trust that those were the things that I absolutely needed to get done so I can be okay with if you know, I don't do everything or I find it a pleasant surprise when I'm like, dang, I was able to do da 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 and I'm listing everything off when the day ends. Like, I sure did. I, I definitely did have enough time to do everything I needed to do. I'd be thinking there's no time. Like, oh, this video is going to take me the whole entire day to edit. But I feel like if I go into that, into it with that mindset, then yeah, girl, it's going to take you all day. But if I just go into the mindset of like, okay, no, you can bust this out. Let's give it two hours, see where you get. And half the time I look up, next thing you know, it's maybe three or four hours later, but the video's done and I still have time to do other things. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, life of an editor. One video will just take your whole life, let me tell you. But I love it. It's, it really allows me to be so creative. Okay, I'm just rambling. We. What time is it? Oh, I've been rambling this whole time, but it's really only 9.35, so I have about 10 more minutes before I need to actually walk out the house, so let me get my purse together. I low-key want to wait to eat my <laughs> little snacks until I'm, like, actually in the car because I feel like if I eat them right now, I'll get hungrier sooner too fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just my logic, but either way. <laughs> oh, and I really, 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 oh my God, I really want to put my bookshelf together today. I want to get this box off the, off the ground, but if I don't get this done, it's okay because I do have four days off after this three days. So 
I it would be nice to get it done today but if not I can dedicate a day and then make sure I film you know what scratch that we're not gonna do that today but I really want to get it done it's okay it's okay I'll get it done we're gonna have ample time girl you need to put this damn camera down put the camera down put the camera down back from getting my nails done back in the car from getting the nails done this is what they look like I went really simple this time around I did I asked for one coat of bubble bath um usually I get like designs or like a French tip with like colors I was gonna do a a blue gradient um because the last nails I had were like a green gradient so I was like oh I'm gonna hit every every color I'm gonna do that with every color but um, I was like, you know what? This time around, I kind of want to keep it simple. I haven't had just plain neutral nails in a while. And then also I got something new on my toes. I did French, white French tip on my toes, which is not typical, which is not typical for me. And I think they're actually really cute. Like I might start getting white French on my toes more often because it's kind of cute also I think I'll be able to like ha have it longer you know because usually I only get white like I really don't get color on my toes I typically just put white um it's just preferred plus the person who pays for them likes white toes but today I decided to do French tip and I actually really like the French tip like I can make a pedicure last boo like don't like I can make a last okay I be making that white last so imagine with the French tip judge your mama not me but I be getting a pedicure like once a month so I be trying to make my pedicure stretch okay so anyways it looks like it's about to pour like rain so bad so I'm gonna head home I'm not too far from the crib so hopefully I can make it before the sky opens up I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond because everything is 50 to 70 percent off the last day that they're open is July 30th so I really need to go this month before they close hopefully I really need to buy a cast iron skillet hopefully they got one for the cheap okay but a cheap but anyways headed to the house see y'all there made it to Chanel's and I'm finally done procrastinating we're signing the baby up for school for public school I'm freaking out answering all these questions is she gonna ride the bus is she going to ASP I'm just like oh my god please I'm not ready to put my baby on no bus, Ooh, the bus is the best part. Uh, my, my sisters was like okay yeah let her ride the bus but maybe for the first we can drop her off <laughs> Like, oh my God. She, she gonna be going to ASP. I mean, I think about, you know, the only thing that uh, that provides me some sense of relaxation is that I did it. I was like, the only thing that, that um, really provides me a sense of peace is because I did it. Like, kindergarten, yeah. I was on the bus. You know, like, granted, I had like an older kid who kind of like who was a friend in the neighborhood so she like helped me navigate that but but um yeah I'm like okay I was fine you know <laughs> she'll be fine yeah <laughs> thank you then, yeah I mean if you can pick up your kid I think it is good to pick it pick your kid I think up. so too yeah Love. thank you Chanel. this looks delicious so I'll get into it Somebody did their makeup after school today. Look at the camera. Period. <laughs> I, first of all, have this big light on, which is very unlike me. Nova requested it. I'm about to turn it off because yeah! we'll turn it back on later. See, this is better. We have the sunlight. Like, we don't need additional light. That's why mommy got the little lights under the cabinets so that we can... Okay, anyways, I just meal prepped, made some chicken fried rice, and then we are eating dinner right now. No, we're having leftover, like, 4th of July food. I'm about to eat that as well. Um, but I pretty much have, like, 
multiple things packed up. I think I have like a combination of leftovers. So we had like nachos one night. So I'm going to eat the rest of that. I'm just have like a nacho bowl kind of like minus the chips. And then we have pasta salad or macaroni yeah. salad. Macaroni salad from, whoa, from yesterday's festivities. A burger. And then we have baked beans left. But, um. Oh, wait. What's in here? Oh, no. This is a combination of like. Anyways, long story short, <laughs> leftovers pretty much, and then I've cooked some fresh chicken fried rice. So, <laughs> gonna have leftovers tonight for dinner because the food needs to be eight, and we don't want to waste. Um, other than that, we're probably gonna shower, get ready for bed. Yeah, I know. Boring. Do you want to go to kindergarten camp? Mommy's about to sign you up for kindergarten camp. It's gonna be fun. So, look. No, really, mm. listen. You'll go to the school, your big girl school, your new school, for a few hours in the morning, and then you'll go back to Miss Sharon mm -hmm. to give it like a little test run right before school starts. Because do you know that by the end of this month, after we come back from our beach vacation, you're going to be at big girl school. You won't go to Miss Sharon's anymore. Do you know that? Wait a minute. Has wait, it settled wait. in yet? How I, do I like go to school for like four minutes and then like... Like, I want to go to school for, like, four minutes or four five. Four minutes? Four I hours? Mean, for, like, eight, for, like, for, like, five minutes. Um, and then I go to, like, Miss Sharon's house. Well, so the week that you go to kindergarten camp will be, like, you'll go to kindergarten at nine in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then at lunchtime, we'll go to Miss Sharon's house. Mm -hmm. And then the next week after that... You'll go to Miss Sharon's for a couple days, and then Mommy and Daddy are going to take you to the beach. And then when we get back on the beach, you start big girl school the next week. Where is the beach? The beach will be a five-hour drive away. It was, is it in Washington? It's in Florida. Oh, so this is so cool. So we get to go to Georgia all the way to Florida. Yeah. We just go. Okay, but back to kindergarten camp. How does that sound? Does that sound exciting? You get to test out your new school before you start? Okay. And green like beans you, good? Green beans. Okay, I'm glad you like them. Crunchy, crunchy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your green beans used to be soft. No, my green beans are always crunchy. Well, sometimes. Nanny, no, nanny made them. Well, sometimes yours is soft and now yours Oh, it'd be crunchy. soft only if it's like leftovers uh -huh. mm -hmm. when you reheat them all right you're doing good on your dinner it's a little mix of everything i guess uh, -uh. girl goodbye good morning it is thursday morning your girl gotta work today i just dropped nova off at school i look a freaking mess but i need to return my phone so I'm at UPS about to drop it off and honestly I'll probably just get Chick-fil-A breakfast because that's what it's giving. It's giving I don't want to cook. My kitchen is cleaned and I just rather, I already cooked for work last night so I'd rather not mess my kitchen up. So let's go in here and drop this off. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, mission accomplished. Girl, why am I trying to open my car like it? I don't know what's locked. Is it bad that I'm already thinking about eating and then going back to sleep? Like, okay, how long can I sleep before I have to start actually getting dressed? Today, I think day one, I, I'm working a three-day trip, and I think that today for day one, I am literally just going back and forth to Toronto. I am not excited about that. It's an easy flight. It really is. It's not a hard flight at all. It's only maybe about an hour and 45 minutes. Like, it's really quick to get to Toronto. But the back and forth, and I hope that they just, like, I have food with me. So, I just hope that, like, coming back into security tonight is just easy and they don't take any of my food. Because I will be annoyed at that, actually. Good morning. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. can, I get um, can I do a number one meal um, with a orange juice? Any sauce? I'll take grape jelly and two grape jellies and one ketchup. And a course of total? Thank you. My pleasure.
Let me go away and come back. Almost home. It's 9.25, so I need to be leaving the house. My report is at like 1.15 or something like that, 1.17. So I could leave the house like right at 12 and make it. Yes, thank you. Have a great one. Um, I could leave the house like right at 12. It's the middle of the day. It's a Thursday. It shouldn't be too rough getting to work today. So I think I'll leave right at noon. So I'm going to eat. I'm going to chill. All of my dinners are cooked. Even packing a bag is going to be easy because I still have my clothes and stuff from my last trip that I didn't even like leave my hotel room. So um, packing will be a breeze as well. And then honestly, by like, I think at like 11, I'll hop in the shower. in the morning I'm in my hotel cute room it's a vibe um, I got here around 1 o'clock um, pick up tomorrow is at 4 5 p.m. I am hungry I'm actually heating up some food um, I made nachos like maybe a couple days ago so now I just kind of have the, a little bit left over of like what was in the nachos just minus the chips <laughs> i got the queso and the salsa here so i'm just gonna like pour it over and just kind of eat it like a bowl uh, minus the chips they also just dropped a uh, season two of lincoln lawyer they dropped five ep episodes i'm gonna assume that th the season is not five episodes that they're gonna drop more and they're just dropping it in bits but um so i'm actually about to start that I was gonna finish manifest because i think i only have like a few more episodes left but i kind of want to just i've been needing breaks from manifest Does anybody else like that if y'all watch manifest y'all be just needing breaks like they be kind of getting a little annoying but i really like the lincoln lawyer so i'm like ooh, i kind of want to dive into lincoln lawyer um i don't know what else there is on netflix to watch but y'all know it's always it's always nice when you know the tvs just have like internet internet tv so like netflix and stuff um yeah so there's a nice little chair over here i guess i'll sit on um don't know when the last time somebody actually cleaned that but you know it's fine just certain things you just learn to deal with i'm gonna sit there because i only have one bed this time and usually when i have two beds i'll eat on one bed and sleep on the other one but today since i only have one bed we're just gonna sit over here with the little table and stuff. So that's the plan for the rest of the night. And um, it's been a good day. I mean, the flights, we just did Atlanta, Toronto, Toronto. We just went back and forth from the same location that I'm at right now. So it's been a pretty smooth day. I really can't complain with how the day has gone. Um, I just think that I'm tired, you know? I just kinda wanna chill out, decompress after three flights and interacting with over 600 people in a day you know by the end of it you're tired your bandwidth is at like zero so that is kind of where i'm at but i just wanted to make sure i came on here and you know show my face um work was good gonna eat watch tv go to sleep y'all i've legit been asleep the entire day i woke up at 10 30 at first this morning and I was like, oh, I could go back to sleep. But then I was like, wait, no, I should like really wake up. I have a towel on. I just literally got out the shower. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, let me get up. I like literally woke up and opened threads. Y'all, if you're not on threads, what do y'all think about it? Or if you are on threads, what do you guys think about it? I personally, I actually really like it. Um, my Twitter was deleted like um, maybe about a year ago and then my Twitter just ain't never been the same since so I'm kind of like vibing with threads like I'm cool with threads plus Elon Musk is doing a lot with Twitter like you telling me I can only see 300 tweets a day I'll see that in the next 10 minutes like it just really devalues what Twitter used to be and it's really annoying because what are you even doing Elon like what do you gain from this but anyways Mark we see you boy we see you threads is popping okay threads is cute threads is 
high vibes, this nice energy. But other than that, um, I got up, I meditated. Um, I didn't eat anything. I was going to meditate, get up, throw some clothes on, go downstairs, get Starbucks, edit. I didn't even do that because after my meditation, I was so sleepy. I was like, let me just go take a quick nap. So I sat in the chair and I closed my eyes again after my meditation and went back to sleep. Then was woken up by a phone call. And then after that, after I was woken up by the phone call, I like transferred myself to the bed. And so I got in the bed and by this time, it's maybe like 11.45, babe, maybe 12 o'clock. Babe, your girl slept till three when my alarm went off um, to make sure that I was up. I always set an a just in case alarm in case I'm ever asleep or something to n let myself know when it's time to start getting dressed. Girl, I didn't wake up to that three o'clock alarm. It's now 3.40, so I have 20 minutes to hurry up and get dressed. I just got the shower. I'm just gonna take my braids out today and wear my hair out curly. But I cannot believe I slept that long. I don't need no Starbucks because your girl should be revitalized, okay? The, my only concern is I literally haven't ate anything all day. Well, I have now, but before I woke up, I hadn't eaten anything all day. So I'm kind of nervous about being starved. Um, so I want to hurry up, at least eat a hot dog before. Because I have a hot dog, like leftover 4th of July food with me. <laughs> so I might, might try to eat a hot dog real quick before I go down. I did have some goldfish and a granola bar. But I'm going to brush my teeth, do my skincare, and throw my uniform on and then and make sure all my stuff is packed up and then if i have time i'll just like heat up the hot dog and then eat the rest of my food on the plane like the burger and the beans and the macaroni salad so anyways i slept the whole day bro y'all ever y'all ever did that just sleep all day girl i don't know but okay let me put this camera down so i can hurry up and do what i need to do all right made it on the plane huh mm-hmm Made it on the plane. It is uh, 518 and we have a mechanical. No bueno. Okay, and it's a bad mechanical too. One of our engines is leaking oil all over the place and the other one has like some type of failure or something. Ciao. All I know is we are gonna, wow, thank you. Pretzel time, pretzel time. Oh, you skipped me. Pretzel time, you don't give me snacks. <laughs> If y'all haven't had these on board yet, please have them. Both of these. These cookies, A1. Forget a Biscoff. These, bus. Also, these pretzels, so freaking good. They're like Dijon mustard. Spiced. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, shout out to Tyrone for the refresher. I've never had the strawberry lemonade refresher before, and it's really good. Um, I also got a breakfast sandwich, so I'm going to... I'm gonna eat that. Chill. He said a while. Like, like that was literally his response. So we don't know how long we'll be here. It looks like somebody's up there chatting right now. I don't really know. Nothing really seems too good to be honest. So who knows how long we'll be here? Yay! I'm gonna actually edit because y'all know I've been asleep all day. So let's let me, let me be productive at least a little bit. Okay, it is officially 9.05 a.m. a.m. p.m. And our original departure time was 5.55. So we still don't have the official okay. Um, the maintenance guy got the paper signed, but we are still waiting on him to do like the last thing. He said it's gonna take him another hour and a half, but the captain's kind of like pushing for us to start boarding, but we're just like, can we not until <laughs> we know for sure like things are ready to go but anyways we're getting things prepped long story short we have all the sign offs that we need we are three hours delayed now so and we definitely our flight to dallas tonight is supposed to be at 10:38. But we don't land until 11.36 as of now. That's if we actually push at 9.30. It's 9.05 and we haven't started boarding. So we more than likely will not be pushing anything by 9.30. So which means our arrival in Atlanta isn't probably going to be until at least midnight. So we shall see how things go. Just a little update. Um, and I'll see you guys when we finally touch down in Atlanta. Aww. Why we land in Atlanta at like 12.10 in the morning. <sighs> and then guess what? I get to go home and go to sleep. 
Oh, what's wrong with my camera? Oh, y'all, your girl got a domicile layover because we got in way too late to make our Dallas flight. Um, so I'm on the way home. It's 1.06. I landed like exactly an hour ago, so I should be home by 1.30. I am so hungry. Um, it's probably going to end up being a bowl of cereal or something tonight because... I mean, I do have chicken fried rice I could heat up and eat that, I mean, realistically, um, in my bag, but, yeah, crazy, crazy. The flight was good, though. It was bumpy the whole entire time, and the captain didn't tell us anything about being bumpy, so we were just in the aisle doing service, freaking about to snap our backs in half, but, hey, still we thrive, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty sh decent, um, flight and now I'm on the way home and unfortunately we do have to come back tomorrow and finish out our trip. So we were originally supposed to already be in Dallas. So what they have us doing now is deadheading from Atlanta to Dallas tomorrow around like 1 p.m. And then, um, and then working the rest of our trip so Dallas to Detroit and then Detroit Atlanta and then we're still done around 10 p.m. tomorrow night but then I have four days off so I can't really do too too much complaining so I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just glad I get to like sleep in my own bed tonight and I'm glad that I can um you know drop all my bags off and stuff because when I come back tomorrow I mean god forbid we have like another situation which I don't think will be the case I think we'll be fine I'll pack a toothbrush and my bonnet but I think that will be good and I'm only gonna bring like my tote bag to work tomorrow um and yeah it's gonna be nice to be able to drop off all my bags it's gonna be nice to sleep in my bed tonight it's gonna be nice to wake up in the morning cook breakfast for duty so she's gonna be happy to see me in the morning because she wasn't expecting me home until tomorrow night so Dimitri is obviously at my place with her but um yeah so that's the vibe y'all so uh, let me put this camera down and get home safely i only have about a 20 minute ride so i'll see y'all soon and the worst part is is i'm not freaking tired but i need to be tired i need to go to sleep because i still have to come back tomorrow and work so all that nonsense i got going away all that i can't ain't no staying up ain't no watching tv well i might watch something while i eat but because realistically if i was in my hotel i'd be up kind of late right now anyways i'll probably still be up watching tv and stuff so i don't know but i think that at some point i need to go to bed if i want to wake up and cook breakfast you know what i'm saying before work i need to leave the crib around like noon tomorrow so which is exactly the time that i left yesterday to show up to work so anyways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at that cute girl Go sit down, because guess what? Daddy made two stops. He knows. Oh, did you tell him thank you? He's a man, a pretty girl. Good morning! Shout out to Demi for the breakfast delivery! Hi! <laughs> Uh, Demi just shot up with some chip and and some duck and zonas. We let us see it. We let us see it. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I just showered, readied myself to go back to work. But it's fine. Let me just go finish this trip out. Then I'm off for four days. So, you know, I got to sleep in my house. You know, you just got to really just take the good with the bad. Ooh, this is how we're wearing our hair today to work, which is fine. You need some help? No, but I still see toys. Aesthetic. Anyways, I, I got about an hour. A little under an hour actually to like eat put my uniform on and get up out the house I'm just gonna carry my tote bag today I guess that's fine yeah actually part of me really wants to bring like toiletries in my bonnet and hair stuff because you just never know what can happen I don't want to get full into my off day with nothing so maybe I will pack like a little bag or something 
just something simple with like my essentials in it you know what i'm saying because i would hate to be somewhere and not like this is not a hairstyle that i can go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and it'd be like okay <laughs> i'm gonna be looking crazy all right oh i came over here for the remote child so we can watch the last episode of is it cake if you didn't know is it cake season two dropped and we already done with it this is this is what we watch when we eat together if it's not this is family feud <laughs> 11.45 on the dot and I actually um, got um, an iced coffee vanilla iced coffee from Chick-fil-A they're actually decent like I can deal with them you know but now it's time to go um, this is the little overnighter or weekender bag that I usually carry I bring this sometimes on two days mostly on leanovers what is this Jesus um, mostly on leanovers but Sorry, I'm gonna go this way. Um, but I'm gonna bring it today because I just put like a couple of hair products in it and then like my toothbrush, my toilet bag. And then I also brought some lunch. So I stole Nova's lunch box. So I got Duty's lunch box in there, her little LOL surprise lunch box. So anyways, I put some chicken fried rice that I made in there so I don't have to spend money today. And I, can, I don't think we have any breaks today at all. So I have my laptop. I have my electronics bag so I can do some work on my dead head. Um, and now we're out. So it's time to go. And um, first flight to the schedule today is dead head to Dallas, Fort Worth. Work Dallas to Detroit and then work Detroit to Atlanta. And I should be done by 10 p.m. tonight. So fingers crossed. It's a smooth day. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's, let's get going to the airport. Happy Sunday. If it's one thing I'm gonna do, it's whip breakfast up real quick. So, got some pancakes going. Turkey bacon, actually pancakes are done. And then turkey bacon I'm about to pull out cause I think I'm getting a little dry. And some eggs, you know, cook the eggs last cause they gotta be the freshest. Um, it's a pool day, it's about, it's about 10.50 in the morning. It's been a real lax, lazy morning. Um, we are officially going to my dad's house at 3. Um, but I wanted to go to my pool around 11. So we'll just see. Watching Manifest. It's just a low vibe. But I'm going to go ahead and close week 3 vlog out right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. I'm about to end this one and start week 4. So if you guys aren't tuned in to the weekly vlogs every Sunday, make sure you do subscribe, like the video, and turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss when I upload on YouTube. Love y'all as always. See you next week.